Automation, simply put, is the integration of technology to streamline and enhance industrial processes. By replacing manual intervention with automated systems, we achieve heightened efficiency, accuracy, and consistency across various sectors. S7-1200 is one of the most commonly used PLC in industrial and process automation. It is a one-stop solution for almost all the basic application. If you ask me where you can use an S7-1200 PLC, I would tell that it can be used in any of the industry. Whether it's food industry, pharma industry, oil and gas industry, HVAC system, home automation, automobile industry, whatever it is S7-1200 have a large install base available. It is ruling the industry for more than a decade. Now this is going to be succeeded by new generation that is S7-1200 G2. Why new S7-1200 PLC? Of course, market is evolving. The scalability, flexibility, and the way the controllers get customized is getting to whole new level. This asks for a new basic controller to outperform the market. What are the key features of S7-1200 G2? As a new generation of course it is having a higher performance. Failsafe accessibility of the controller have improved. Signal boards are now available with the portfolio. T functionality is now integrated with the controller. So motion control become easier than before. An FC functionality is integrated with the controller which helps in diagnostics, operational and to access device data more easily. Now this is more modular and space-saving controller. On the slide you can see how it looks. It is having a reduced size now. Two signal boards are supported now based on the model. As usual signal modules are connected on the right of the module. Each and every CPU will be having two Profinet ports. Summary of the functionalities, which the controller have are. New hardware design, which reduces the 25% space. Failsafe functionality is integrated. Bit performance, memory size and almost all the features are improved. FIO portfolio is improved. New products are available in it. Connectivity is being enhanced. NFC functionality is available now. All the S7-1200 G2 CPUs are coming with integrated motion control option. Talking more on hardware design, two different CPU models are introduced. CPU 1212 and 1214 CPU. As you can see DIN rail size is reduced significantly. As per new hardware design signal modules are also smaller in size now. Talking about expandability. CPU models are available in both standard and failsafe option. Six expansion modules can be added with CPU-1212 including signal boards. Ten can be added with CPU-1214 with signal boards. Data memory and program memory of the controllers are increased now to 500 kilobytes and 150 kilobytes respectively for CPU-1212 and 750 kilobytes and 250 kilobits for CPU-1214. For failsafe CPU program memory is higher by 50 kilobits compared to standard. Technology functionality is integrated in all of this CPU. Kinematics, multi-axis control, single-axis control are supported here. Processing power has been enhanced. Up to 31 Profinet devices and deterministic program execution with Profinet IRT. NFC supported for commissioning and diagnostic support. Moreover, failsafe and motion engineering is integrated with TIA Portal Basic. This is the overview of new CPU 1212 and CPU 121.4. Width have reduced and height is being increased. Backslash. Integrated DI and DO is 6 and 8 for 1212 and 14 and 10 for 1214. Two Profinet or Modbus ports are now available. Three communication modules supported for both. Six signal boards and signal modules supported for 1212 and 10 for 1214. 1 SB supported for 1212 and 2 for 1214. Integrated Motion Control and NFC. As before memory card is optional for 1200. And finally different power option available as before. Communication board and modules are available for Modbus serial communication. These are the available options in the signal boards and signal modules. Different option available in digital and analog requirements. For failsafe requirement. Failsafe signal boards are available. One out of one and one out of two optional available. Integrated sensor supply is available in some model to detect short circuit and overload scenarios. Memory card access with plug and play. Two Profinet ports. Upto two SBs. Removable high density terminal blocks with push and wiring. DIN rail footprint reduced by 25%. 
once more highlighting design and handling of CPU. Dimensions are shown here. Now about somatic memory card for S7-1200. Capacity option from 4 megabits to 32 gigabytes available. Program, data, system data, recipes, data protocol, files and projects can be saved in the memory card. Lifespan of memory card is increased to 500,000 write accesses. No special memory card reader required. Increased copy protection with linking memory card with serial number of CPU is supported. But to remember, memory card is not mandatory in an S7-1200 CPU. Technology objects as discussed, similar to advanced controller, different technology objects are supported. New feature, which have not been seen in the somatic CPU is NFC. With a tap of NFC supported devices like your mobile phone you can access diagnostics data, CPU details can be fetched. By default this is disabled in the CPU. Even without CPU is not powered you can get some basic information. How to migrate. Old CPU 1211, 1212 models will be replaced by new CPU 1212. Performance and features are improved. For existing CPU 1214, 1215, 1217 will be replaced with new CPU 121.4, with better performance and capabilities. How to engineer. No more separate safety license is required from V20 onwards. Step 7 basic will be discontinued from V20 onwards. Now license price can be reduced. So one engineering for standard and fail-safe S7-12100 G2 CPU. Roadmap for S7-12100 G2 CPU. As of today, April, 2024. Global product announcement will happen this year. Initial product release will happen this year. By next year, further portfolio expansion will happen. By 2026, OPC UA will be introduced to G2 series. That's about the new series. Let me know your comment on the same. Thank you.